everyone, it's Jerry Ann with Scrap and Stamp Creations.blogspot.com, and tonight we are going to finish up the um, the embellishing um, of our purse book that we started last week. Um, in last week's class, we actually put the binder together and we did all of the pages. And so tonight we're going to do all of the little embellishments, all of the little extras. I'm going to show you guys how to color the different pieces and get this really nice look um, for your album as well. Okay, so I want to go ahead and get started. I took my big mat off my desk because I'm going to use the heat gun. And I did not want to melt it again. <laughs> so the first page that we're going to start with is this one here. Okay. And so what we need is we need a 6x6 six six piece of black. We need a 6x um, or a 12 by a 1 by 12 piece of the plaid paper I'm looking to find where my pieces are here here's my black and this is everything that was left over from our um, you know actually I think I'm going to go ahead and use this zebra stripe for um, this piece here on the other one. I think. Because apparently I used a lot of that pink plaid. Alright, so I need a two six by six black squares and I need um, a one by twelve inch piece of the zebra print. And where did my good cutter go? Here it is. So I'm going to go ahead and take the zip strip off of this one here. And I'm going to turn it around and cut at one inch. And then we're going to go ahead and pleat that up. And I'm going to cut two six by six black mats. One for the front cover and one for the black cover. All right. Hello. All right. Let's find my piece of. One of the things that I really like is the zip the Ziploc bags that come with the paper kits from um, Close to My Heart um, because it really is easy to kind of keep everything together. Okay, so what we're going to do is we are going to accordion fold this piece here. I'm going to move that out of the way a little bit and kind of. Sorry guys. I really want you guys to be able to see but not have to see how all of my my wonderful keyboard. There we go. All right. So on this, we're going to pull our scoreboard out and we are going to score at one inch, at one and a half, <clears throat> at two and a half, at three inches, at four, at four and a half, at five and a half, at six, at seven, at seven and a half, at eight and a half, at nine, at ten, at ten and a half, 
and at 11 and a half. All right, one more time. We're scoring at one, one and a half, two and a half, three, four, four and a half, five and a half, six, seven, seven and a half, eight and a half, nine, ten, ten and a half, and eleven and a half. Has everybody got those? All right. And then what we're going to do is we're going to accordion fold these pieces. Okay. So what we're going to do is um, first of all we're going to go ahead and take and place our um, our mat here on the upper side. And we're going to go ahead and center it in here. Okay. We have a, let's see, I have another mat we need to cut as soon as I find my ruler. Don't go where? Five. It's a four by five mat. And that goes there in the piece, so that's four by five. Mommy. Yeah, buddy. Are you gonna drive Nicole and I am not. I am broadcasting on Ustream. Do you wanna say hi to everybody? Hi. Wait, hi everybody. What did everyone Hi, everybody. Martha says hello to Harrison. I'm ready to go to the movie. Well, oh, you know what? You need a bathroom break. I'm doing that instead of drop. No, you don't have to go instead, but you do need to go in and take care of that before you can go anywhere. Okay? Oh, wait. Yeah. Dave? He needs to go in the bathroom before you guys can leave, and they need to leave soon. Yeah. Do you want me to go take him out? Well, he's messy. I so, can do it. Okay. Well, somebody's got to do it. Come on, bud. Can my dad do it? No, I can do it. Come on. <gasps> go get cleaned up. Um, they are going to see are you gonna Dark watch? Shadows at the Garland watch? Theater. Nicole, are you going to help or not? Which is no. the thing. <sighs> <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. <laughs> All right. So, if you guys are looking for um, the products that I am using, if you go to my blog. Yeah, it's, it's been a kind of, um, it's been a few, a few busy days. Um, my niece came home for, from nursing camp and, 
um, Pathways to Nursing. Um, we've had a lot of people in and out and around, and with the holiday coming and everything, he is just kind of, he's managing, but barely. <laughs> and I think us too. All right, so we are going to use... Um, our sticker sheets here and what we're going to do is we're going to use this sticker here with the heart he is really really happy and that uh, really happy she's home and I am too to be honest with you I am tickle pink she's back I I didn't realize how much I myself just missed her on top of everything so, all right, and so we're going to go ahead and we're going to go ahead and I am, oh, and then I didn't make sure it was all folded correctly. All right, one of the nice things about card stock stickers is that you can definitely see um, when you need to pull them up, you're not ripping anything. So that is really, really helpful. <laughs> All right. Uh, well, we've been dealing with potty camp and everything in order to try and deal with some of our issues related to our bathroom issues, um, which has been really helpful. But again, it's one of those things where it's slow going and, you know, four steps ahead, five steps back kind of thing. All right, so I'm gonna just now fiddle with this a little bit. I want it to fluff out a little more. I, I kind of want it to bend. I want it to look a little more like ribbon. All right, so now it looks like this. So here is our side piece. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna stick it here in the corner. And we're gonna let it hang over just a little so you can kind of see it off the front. That's one of the nice little pieces and, and that. And then I'm going to use my liquid glass and I'm gonna add just a little bit here on the uh, on the underside. Oh, well, that's it for my pokey tool. This liquid glass is extra strong, guys. Because <laughs> now I can't get it out. <laughs> uh oh. Yeah, it's an old pokey tool. <laughs> oh, that's funny. All right, there we go. <laughs> and now we're just going to use our liquid glass to reattach our pokey tool. Sixty, and that was all we were going to do for this. He decided he didn't want to do it, so taking the girls. Okay, you guys, I'm going to need a break for a few minutes. I'm going to have to help Harrison a little bit. Is did you get him cleaned up, or is he still all messy? I told him as soon as we counted down, he would, he would get him, just so he had some time. Okay. You guys, I'm going to take a break for just a minute. I will be right back. Harrison needs me. And uh, so anyway, here's this one. So we've got the first page done. Yeah, I, 
I need to go take care of that for just a second. And then we'll work on the thing. You guys chat amongst yourselves.
I'm back. He's better. <laughs> oh my gosh. Sorry guys. Um Oh gosh. Um Harrison has had we've had issues um left and right with potty training kind of stuff. And it's not even potty training because that's not it. It's that everything is kind of backwards when it comes to Harrison. And um, I um, am glad that I took a break because um, the breathing techniques that we're learning at Pelvic Floor Rehab um, really made a huge difference. And um, if any of you have ever dealt with kids who have chronic constipation and are just horrible about going to the bathroom, you know how big a deal it is when that kind of stuff happens. And so um, by me taking five minutes and going upstairs and helping him, I was able to help him go potty, which was huge. And that makes me happy because that means that the stuff that we're doing in therapy is really working. So I ask and beg all of your guys' forgiveness for kind of having to step out on you for a minute, but I'm back and he's much better. And that, so yeah, it is working. It takes a lot of time. And the things that Harrison, um, it, the things that he uses to learn, it just takes a little longer for him compared to normal kids. And some days it's very frustrating, and other days um, you just kind of grit your teeth and bear it. <laughs> and today, um, especially when he's fighting going and you know he needs to and everything, it, it definitely is. So. You guys are grown-ups. I'm really sorry I had to ditch you, but I'm back, and I should be good to go from there because it is all worth it, and he is important. So this is the Color Ready Seam Binding from Close to My Heart, and you get 10 yards. The item number is Z1732, and all I'm doing is tying it in a knot, and... Um, and cutting my little, uh, thanks, um, cutting my little corners here. Oh, yay, you're welcome. I'm so glad that you got them. And that Harrison did all of, all of my um, mailing for me the other day. And that was really great, except for I forgot to mail out a swap at the same time, which, of course, I feel horrible about. I haven't heard anything from the hostess. And now I feel like a deadbeat. So, um, but if the hostess doesn't talk to people, <laughs> I'm having a hard time. Oh, I will. I will. He loves to go to the post office. And luckily, we have a neighborhood post office. And the guys at the post office know him. So that works out really, really well. All right. So all we did was we um, pleated this piece here. We added a bow, we added our stickers, and the top of our album is done. All right, so now we're gonna work on page number one. And um, actually what we're gonna do before we do any of the pages that are just gently tacked down is we're gonna actually go ahead and color each and every one of our pieces of stuff that we're going to use. Um, we're going to use, um, we are going to use the Just Blooms Paper Shapes Petals um, 68 Flowers Z1709 and we're going to need two of the biggest ones and on this one I'm just using the white but there are petals that have lots of words and things like that so we're going to use two of those we are also going to use, and he should be watching on his iPad upstairs, guys. He was, he decided he was going to do that um, instead of come down and help me because I was going to let him get his fingers all dirty and everything. And then we are going to use two of the little itty bitty butterflies when I find the other itty bitty butterfly. Oh, here it is. Two itty bitty butterflies 
and one large butterfly. And the butterflies are Flutter Z1463 and we're going to actually go ahead and we're going to color those as well. So we've got the flowers and the flutters. And then out of my mixed shapes, I'm going to use this one here, which is um, Z1683. And remember, even if you don't have the Cricut cartridge, you can purchase these and trace out. After you've used them, you can trace out and keep using the shapes and stuff. So this is a really good deal. I have another set of these coming. And that, so Z1683, these are the mixed shapes in one and a half and two inches off of a, the Art Philosophy cartridge. Okay, and then I have four hearts out of the hearts dimensional elements that I stole from a friend. Um, and those are the other things that we're going to color. So what we're going to do first is, I know you all have seen the... Um, the Tim Holtz inks and the techniques and everything in order to be able to use those inks. Well, I want to show you that you can use, you can do that same kind of technique using the Close to My Heart um, inks as well. And um, I am going to use, am I going to use cotton candy or am I using smoothie? I think I'm going to use the smoothie color. Smoothie is Z2196. Okay. And what we're going to do is do we need to do another tutorial on how to open the ink pads? Everybody's not getting inky anymore, right? Because they know how to do it. <laughs> it is not a button. <laughs> don't need them for <laughs> good um, again you want to put your fingers on each side grab pull twist and pop it's not a button it's just a pull twist pop okay <laughs> hold the sides not the button <laughs> okay I have one of those nice long um, actually Tony and I were on the on Skype the other night and you know those Tim Holtz mats that come that, that are like this big and everything? I told her the other night, I said, you know, I really want one that's like half the size. It would work best for me to be half the size. I said, I should really cut it in half or maybe I should just buy a smaller one. And then I decided that all I really needed to do was cut it in half. So I did. I cut it in half <laughs> and now I have two of these mats. Oh, I'm glad. <laughs> and uh, um, so that is one of the things here. So um, I'm going to tell you to feel free to use your supplies your way. <laughs> and if you feel like you need to cut your Tim Holtz mat thingy in half in order to get good coverage, then definitely do that. All right. So now that our ink is open, we're using the smoothie. We're going to do exactly what we see everybody else tell us to do. We're just going to beat some ink into our little mat. I am going to find my trusty little pointer uh, tweezers. I am going to find my spray bottle of water. And I'm just going to spritz this in here. I'm going to take my dimensional elements pieces first. And as you can see, you just kind of flip them over, run them around. You get ink on yourself because, you know, can't be without ink. Okay. And we still got a little piece in the middle there that does not want to ink itself up. For whatever reason. All right. So we have our first piece that's there and I have sprayed all over. Our hearts, we're going to do exactly the same thing. Just going to run them all over and that. And as you can see, they take the color really easy. Really, really easy. We're going to add some more ink here.
and you can see it puddles up on the mat. Uh oh. My son has found our yearbooks from years gone by. My niece got a yearbook this last year for um, from high school and she really excited about it and so of course Harrison wanted to know where our yearbooks were and how come he didn't have a yearbook and so lo and behold we um, gave him so that's that's what you just heard I'm sure is a yearbook hitting the floor that of course when we were five you know when we were 18 and spent all that money on the yearbooks that would have just been the most horrible thing you could possibly imagine and now we're just like yeah that was a yearbook all right so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do exactly the same thing with my butterflies just kind of adding the color my husband which I'll need to chat with for just a second yep now these are kind of tissue paper ish kind of things just want you to know and so they do kind of end up taking a lot of moisture and stuff in them and what I have found which is the same thing that um, Shai showed not too long ago was that if you sprayed them they kind of are that same consistency as a coffee filter and so they will ink up and that they'll lighten up if you spray them but they are easy to rip so you definitely want to um, okay yep see I ripped that one but that's okay we're gonna make it work so I'm just spritzing these a little more just to kind of make the color kind of pop and and work out and now I'm gonna grab a baby wipe oh good and then I have my heat gun plugged in and we're just gonna heat these up Actually, I might dab them off a little bit here first with my paper towel. Take some of that um, wetness away. And then we're just going to heat them up and dry them off. You know, I haven't, I haven't seen a difference in it at all or anything. Um, I just, no, it, it doesn't, it just makes your pad a little wet. Now our butterfly is trying to fly away.
Nope. I haven't had that experience at all. But then again, our pads are so juicy and everything. I've never had a color change or anything like that. Those dry really, really, really fast. No, not much. I just was using our inks um, to color some of the white pieces for our uh, project here. And even though that petal is about ready to come off, you'll see how we're going to fix that in a minute to be able to use it. So let's go ahead and dry our chipboard pieces. Did he tell you he went in the potty? Mm -hmm. Yes, I'm gonna take him to Harbor Freight. Take him to Harbor Freight. Is there an ad down here? Do you know? Um, I don't think so. But you know what? I just saw a coupon for 25% off your whole entire order. At Harbor Freight. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Here. I'll go online. I'll find it. I think I know. Here. Here's a forward. I probably got it myself. Okay. It was a super coupon. So anyway, yeah, he um, he did. He paid. He stopped a minute. He thought about it. We blew, and it all came out. So we're good. All right, I'm missing a butterfly here. Oh, there we go. Now, the other thing that I do, which is just kind of interesting and a little different, is in order to give the edges of these a little bit of color you're like really you're gonna do this and I'm gonna have to dry again is I'm gonna just hit my ink pad kind of come around and pounce the edges here and if it gets too dark like I hit that one a little dark on that side what I'm gonna hit it is I'm gonna hit it with some water and it's gonna um, it's going to bleed out. So. And I know they're looking kind of messy, but You'll see when we hit them with some water the second time, it lightens everything up and it really looks nice. What time's the movie over? Yeah. Huh. Are they close to my heart, June or Kathy? Oh, see, and that's one of the things that I have, um, when I was talking to my friend Tony, um, that was one of the things that she really noticed, was that our pads were definitely a different feel. They were very, very um, full of ink. 
Yeah. Well, and they are really nice. And I would just get the, um, the one that I would definitely get and try first is if you use a brown or anything, get cocoa and that. And then um, the other one that I really would encourage you to get is the white daisy and the white daisy marker. Um, Close to my heart is going to um, be discontinuing the markers at the end of July. So you definitely want to get that white daisy marker beforehand. And the reason is, is that white daisy actually shows up on any color. It's a pigment ink. And Catherine and them have all kind of said that it really is their favorite white ink. And so Close to My Heart sells it. It's on my blog. It's wonderful. I, I love it. I bought a couple of extra white ones. Um, yeah, I would get white daisy ink and I would get the white daisy marker. And then if you are, you know, if you're a brown person and you use a lot of brown and stuff, I would get a cocoa or a chocolate. And then if you decide to buy a paper pack, kind of look and see what it says is there. And, um, you know, kind of get those colors that you are going to use. You, you don't need to have all of them unless, you know, you're like me and have to have the entire collection. But, um... You definitely, um, <laughs> I don't know, um, convention is in two weeks and I'm not going, I just couldn't afford to go, and, um, it's in Texas, and so they'll be unveiling a bunch of things at that point, and, um, then we'll have a better understanding of what's coming out, and that there's some speculation that it might be something along the lines of, um, of uh, like Copics or something along those lines but I'm not really sure and that I can't you know an alcohol based ink or or something so I'm not I'm not certain I couldn't tell you right at the moment kind of what the deal is and that um, but yeah so I, I can tell you kind of what they're doing. Um, you know, I know Close to My Heart is, has been a leader in lots of stuff that they've done. And, that, and the other really cool thing is that they are a long-term company who has diversified so much. And they don't, um, the reason it took us so long to get a Cricut cartridge is because they actually paid in full for every Cricut cartridge at the very beginning so that those people um, who got them and they had to wait for another set to be made but they pay for everything they don't they don't do a lot of credit and that with their vendors and things like that so they knew that when they went with um, Provocraft to make our art philosophy cartridge they um, bought outright the first set and that and then it was a huge success and so that's why we keep having them all right, so I, all I've done is I inked around the edges and then I hit these with water again just so that the brown would blend. And now I'm going to go ahead and heat them up again and dry them out so that you'll see the softer pieces of it. It is white, white. White Daisy is white, white. It is not off-white. The off-white color from Close to My Heart is Colonial White. And that, and so, yeah, it is, it is white, white. <laughs> so... Just get the marker too. <laughs> That's my only suggestion. Get the marker. Get the ink pad, but get the marker. Because you do... I really... I have liked my marker for being able to do journaling and stuff on dark cardstock. It's always an option. And it's three bucks. Yeah. 
You know, I don't know about that one. I haven't seen that. I think it might be a Memento ink. I'm wondering if that might be what it is, is Memento, um, the Whisper White. But I know that um, anybody who's seen anything, I know that a lot of people have, have really liked the other. Nope. Ours is White Daisy. Are you leaving? Yes. Thank you. And he did a really good job. Mm -hmm. I mean, it took him a few minutes. He was just um, wanting well, that, to go. The coupon is Wednesday. Oh, okay. Can you go there? Maybe. Double A's and triple A's. Double A's, triple A's. And mirror clips. Mirror clips, if they have them. If they have them. I can't find it, but looking at it, it's white, white, so I figured that, yeah. Our white, our white, the white daisy from Chris, Close to My Heart is awesome. I think Whisper White is a Stampin' Up! one, um, if I'm not mistaken. I think that that's a Stampin' Up! color. But it is not, people, you know, even the Stampin' Up! people like the white daisy, so... All right, everything's blowing away, which means things should be dry. All right, so now we're off to working on our pages. Now that we have all our little embellishments done, so I'm going to push those up to the side without losing our extra petal there and everything. I'm going to go ahead and move this around. All right. All right. So what we're going to do is I'm looking for my bling assortment here. All right. Oh, you know what we didn't do? Yeah. Whisper White is stamping up. You know what we didn't do is we didn't dye our ribbon. Not done with this yet. And now I can't find the spool of ribbon. Oh, here it is. All right, so I am taking, oh, about 18 inches of ribbon. And I'm going to use cotton candy this time. So it's going to be a different color pink. And I am going to do exactly the same thing. And we are going to color our seam binding ribbon. And yeah, my fingers are going to just be gross. Sorry, guys. But this is called crafting, so. All right, Ugh. and now we're going to just go ahead and heat set this ink. So 
we custom colored our ribbon and everything um, that's one of the things with um, ink in general is that it does draw tend to dry a little lighter than you did than what you think it's going to be so lo and behold here's our pretty pink ribbon that went really fast now we'll go ahead and roll this puppy up All right, so now for page one. Where is page one? Here it is. And page one has this little flourish sticker here in the corner. I am so excited. <laughs> I think everybody's just amazed that I'm working kind of slow tonight. Because we got quite a few who are watching. So, alright. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and permanently attach... Yeah, I really like it. It's a really nice pink. Not too, not too little girl pink. All right, our little piece here, we're going to go ahead and stick this down here in the corner. All right, and I need some pearls. These are the opaque pearls, Z1336. So, yep, it's kind of fun. Hi, Froggy. All right. And we're going to use one of our stick pins. And these are nice because they have the beads and everything all done. And then on the bottom there's a stopper as well. So what we're going to do is we're going to stab our butterfly. And we're going to come out the bottom. We're going to <laughs> and um, And we're making it pretty. And then what we're going to do is we're going to take two of our opaques, these um, little ones. And now that my tool should be back to working, we're going to go ahead and put the little opaques right along the butterfly here. And then what I'm going to do is um, take and run some liquid glass right along the center back here and put it right here in the middle. So now what will happen is it will stick This is about where I like the beacon. <laughs> and there's page one with our butterfly embellishment.
and it'll sit in there and dry. All right, page two. We had already put some of the pieces together. This piece also has a stick pen. It has a very cute um, bow. So the way I tie a bow is I do two little loops and I tie it in a knot. And my fingers are all icky. There we go. And that way we have this cute little bow. <laughs> We already dealt with poop, so we're good. Did that at the beginning of the show. All right. So I'm going to nip my little thing again. <laughs> yeah, you'll have to go back and watch the recording because it was actually kind of funny. All right. My son. I had to take a break. All right, we're going to use the badge buttons wooden shapes Z1703. <laughs> and we're actually going to use one of the large buttons. And we're going to pull out our 10 things stamp set uh, C1474. Christine has this stamp set and a couple other people have it. So I'm excited and I am using the flourish out of it. There's a little flourish here in the corner. We're going to use that first. And you can pick it up on my website. And Christine just put the link in. And let's see, I'm trying to find where my block went. Like, did the fairies end up sitting on it? I don't know. All right, so what we're going to do is we are taking our um, cocoa ink and we are going to stamp right on this badge button. One and two. So it stamps beautifully. And then what we're going to do is take our chocolate or our cocoa dauber. If you have a dauber dauber or like me I have this makeup sponge. We're just going around the edge. And that gives us one of our pieces. So this one is simple, super easy. We made our our um, bow, and that's going to go, let's see, find out which side we like it. So we're going to stick our stick pen right through our bow. <laughs> I am embellishing the pocketbook from last week that we made. So it's all of the pages, all of the directions for the album are on my blog. And basically all I am doing is putting the embellishments on that project. All right. Yeah. So what I'm doing now is... I'm going to go ahead and place my badge button here on the side. But maybe I should tack down my trusty little piece of paper here. 
because what I did was I gently attached those because we might need to pull up some. So we're just going to add that down, really tack it in there. Okay, we've got our badge button. We've got our flourishes. We've got our cute little stick pen that's coming out this way. And let's see. This is the biggest bottle of glue I have ever had. And then what we're going to do is we're going to add some dimensionals here. Pop this puppy up. Right. And we're going to go ahead and center this in here. That's a photo spot. And then we're going to take the itty bitty pearls. I don't know. And we're going to add four. There's one. Here's two. Here's three. And four. And that is page two. So we've now done three layouts in like an hour and a half because I took a break and had problems getting in. <laughs> they go pretty fast. All right. So page three has this little saying that says, you're my inspiration. And what we're going to do is we actually are going to do some stamping again with our 10 thing stamp set. And we're going to need our block here. Yep, it says you're my inspiration. The, the piece along this one says you're my inspiration. One of the cool things about having a clear block is that you can actually pick a grid line and line up all of your pieces and make sure that they are straight. All right, and we are going to stamp this in cocoa, and then I'm going to show you how we're going to get the today to be um, 
in Tulip. Okay, so now what we're going to do is I'm going to find a piece of my scrap. We're going to move the 10 things off my block. Ah. And I'm going to dig in here for a little piece of scrap. That's the right color. And we are going to use Tulip, which is Z2166. And I want to stamp the word today. And we need to add, I'm going to stick my little flourish back on here. We need to add the other little side here. Onto this stamped piece. And now we're going to fussy cut out this word today. And then what I'm doing is I'm just going to add a little bit of tape and I'm going to lay this over the today here. So now we have a two-tone. Yep. Two-tone. And then in order to get rid of the 10, we're going to use the um, sticky that says terrific right over the 10. Terrific things that make today great. And then I'm going to go ahead and take my ink and distress my edges. And the reason we didn't um, tack everything down is because again we're distressing edges. <laughs> yeah, I'm wanting to see those monkeys too. All right, so what I'm going to do now is I'm definitely going to go ahead and adhere all of this down. That's why a cricket is nice. 
because you can do the paper piecing thing without actually like having to fussy cut too much. All right. The other thing that I have here is actually a piece of ribbon as well as a border strip. So let's go ahead and get a border strip and I'm going to use this one here. And all I'm doing is taking the backing off of it and putting it right in the middle here. And trimming it off and that leaves me six inches to work on for another piece. Uh. And then um, ribbon wise. Close to my heart retired the pleated ribbon that I used. However, when I was out and about at Joann's and Hobby Lobby, I found a couple of different kinds of ribbon that would work. Um, this one has, um, let's see if you can see, it's got some nice little puckers in it. And that... Um, I also found this one, which I really, really, really liked, and it was from Hobby Lobby, and it has some netting on it. Really like it. And um, actually, the last piece, which I think is a little big, however, I think it's the same size as what I had is um, this piece here and it is just again so but I am going to use this this piece here and um, this was the piece that um, close to my heart was selling well, I didn't buy it at Michael's. I bought it at Joann's and I bought it at Hobby Lobby. I heard. <laughs> and that. So, what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to go ahead and um, line a... Oh, no problem. I'm going to go ahead and line a piece, uh, a strip of glue here right along this really nice straight line in this plaid. And I'm going to go ahead and lay my um, ribbon down right along. I'm just going to cut my edges here. And we've got really nice, pretty black ribbon with tulle. This ribbon from Hobby Lobby is item number 976282. 976282. Oh. No problem. need to do is add my photo mat back in which goes right here and then my little embellishment that I stamped here on the side then this has a black heart from the sticker sheet 
that is pop dotted so just stick it on your hand and take some of the sticky off and then if you put um, three dots on the back and that's going to go here in the corner and then I'm just going to tie this in a knot, this little piece of ribbon, and I'm going to bring it down to a kind of an edge and pull tight. And I'm just going to add a little drop of glue. And this page is done. really fast once you kind of play and decide what you want to do. The nice thing about Close to My Heart really is that piece of everything coordinates and so it makes it really really nice when you you know start kind of using your pieces and stuff. All right so what we're going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and ink the edges of this um, page, this this photo mat. and this one I'm going to go ahead and adhere them down really well because we are going to use the rub-ons again I'm trying to show you guys how you can use the things that we have and how they can be used like even if you have them for just one project, you can definitely um, use up the extras too. I like to kind of um, make sure that my embellishments kind of stretch a little bit. So I've got the little flourish again and I'm gonna stamp up and I'm stamping down on this piece here. Then I'm going to add my zip strip piece. I'm just going to give it some adhesive all the way down. S put it in the middle. So you can see the, um, the flourishes on each side that I stamp. That's where our heart's going to go. goes in the center of this plaid piece here. And then it gets butted up right against the edge here. Just like that. Then we're going to take one of our hearts and we're going to go ahead and adhere that right to the center here. Okay, we're going to take our little scratch piece of paper and out of our stamp set, the 10 things, there is a stamp that says love, um, I love about you, and we're going to stamp that in brown, and I just need the love, so I'm just inking that up and putting what I need there. Oh, I can't wait to see, I'm going to run over and look when I'm done. <laughs> Maybe I'll leave now. Alright. <laughs> 
Oh, so now what I'm doing, <laughs> I have stamped the word love and fussy cut it out. <laughs> and I'm just going to add a little bit of adhesive here on this end. And I'm going to have it come out of my little heart. I'm going to use a pop square or a pop uh, dimensional on the other side and pull it off so that it stands up there. I'm going to find my um, mocha opaques, which are Z1333. And I am going to use my tool here and place three of these little itty bitty tiny little uh, flat back pearls. Two and three. Now, the best part is yet to come. So this is where we are now. And now we're going to use some more of our tapestry rub-ons, which are Z1700. Ooh. Sorry, lost a piece underneath the table. And... We are going to, let's see. I'm going to go ahead and use this one right here. And um, we're going to cut it in half. You guys have seen me use these before. These are the ones that are um, really pretty. Yeah, these rub-ons are just gorgeous. And that they are on my list and definitely want to pick them up because I'm not sure if they're going to carry over to the next catalog or not. But they are amazing. You know what? I'm going to cut both of those out. And I think I'm just going to cut them off there and use They are pretty ingenious. I really like them. you. That makes me happy. I've been talking to my husband lately about the fact that I really, really um, have really enjoyed um, doing the, um, the Ustream shows and getting to know everybody. And the biggest asset is, is that I have not really um, worked hard on having an income for quite a while. And not that I really wanted, but to keep my myself in business, you know, kind of keep my stuff together and stuff. And I, I have to tell you, I am feeling just absolutely blessed that you guys all... Um, <laughs> um, I, I feel just absolutely blessed that you all are very supportive in the ways that you are. It definitely um, helps me to um, feel like I'm doing something that um, you guys are finding worthwhile and helpful. 
and I appreciate that because it definitely has been a long time since I have definitely felt like everything was just going to work the way it was supposed to. So I am grateful. Um, I'm now at a point where I am really contemplating doing this more often um, than what I had originally planned and doing, um, doing kits and things. Um, but I also knew that I needed to take the time to really get to know people in order to do that. Um, <laughs> and um, and <laughs> that would have been funny. <laughs> um, but the nice thing is, is that I have a choice in working if I want to outside of the ho outside of the home. And um, this has been my passion for a very long time. And so the idea that you guys hang out with me on Monday nights really make it nice um, to a point where I, I'm feeling really comfortable um, probably giving up the, the other position. Um, and I'm happy. So we shall see. And somebody's walking around. I think it's my boys. I think my boys are back. Yay. Yeah, the ink pads are awesome and I love the ink and everything. So here, I love that these are felt. They feel awesome. There are 60 total. 60 colors. So this page is all done. Yeah, you know, um, I don't know if I shared with you guys. Last week, I, um, I made some really tough decisions about school for my son and things. I really did not enjoy homeschooling at all. It was not what I wanted to do. It wasn't what I believed was best for my son. And as of last week, he is now enrolled back in school. And um, I have kind of taken some different steps in order to make some things happen. So I'm tickled pink. The school he's going to, I have friends who um, I have a friend who just landed a librarian job there, so I'm even more excited. And um, so I'm just, I'm really very pleased. I feel very blessed. Um, you know, I think in a little, in, in some ways, um, I think you're right. I think that my body basically said, you can't do this this way anymore. And I was feeling very much like it just was not, it wasn't beneficial for my kid. And everybody will tell you that if nothing else, when it comes to him, it's always best practices and stuff. The nice thing about the school piece is that I, um, you know, I was very honest with them when I, when I enrolled and said, you know, I'm not going to feel like an outcast walking in the school you know, I'll give you the time that you need to do what you need to do in order to help him get where he needs to go, but not, not at, not at the risk of him kind of falling behind. And you all get to see him on a weekly basis, so you know that he's he's not he's not hurting for social interaction. <laughs> so that at least is really super helpful. Well, I don't like that side. Ooh, got something on it, so I'm gonna flip it over. Um, so we, uh, we made some hard choices, but they're choices that at least in it, in response to Harrison and what we believe and what we want for him, I think we're going to be able to get there. Plus really the next hard transition time for school is, um, when he turns 15 or 16 because kids with disabilities, they kind of work them into workshop programs and stuff, which is not a bad idea to teach them skills and stuff. But the hard part is, K 
Okay, where did my picture go? Did my picture leave you? Because I'm sure seeing a black screen. Am I gone? Okay, 